was a coming to you with another YouTube video and uh, international renowned worldwide syndicated because I you know what it is I'm the most electrifying YouTuber there is today because I got the Jamaican air rays and the fake lasers and you know what else shit I'm the global phenomenon all right coming to you with another YouTube video so let's take a look at a little bit of everything today all right I mean, we could, not everything, but you know what I'm talking about. Let's look at all this activity that's been happening. <laughs> it's like a new Black Friday just happened yesterday, right? When all this stuff happening. And the mitigating factors in this whole uh, big, huge dips in the market, right? They all have the same down trend, right? Bam, 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 pretty much, right? Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Like all the patterns seem to be the same. And... Of course, it's, you know, everybody's talking about the Om Omicron COVID variant, right? For the coronavirus that's going on, the the Evergrande uh, real estate China market happening as well. And uh, those are the big things that's happened, right? And so that's what's causing the downtrend. But at the same time, you can start to see that little bend going back up so what's the ramifications that's hitting this market right because uh this video is about hypes and all that stuff well ramification is huge dumps right i mean we're looking at here's right here here's a here's a dump reason uh evergrand founder cryptocurrency dump so the whole china real estate is in a huge slump right especially with uh Evergrande here from China uh, gamble pretty big in terms of just building, 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 and uh, trying to push the money further, and the bottom just fell out pretty much. But like I said, ramifications in the market. What's happened in these last few days? Uh, lots of exiting, right? <laughs> in the in the in the industry. Here, here's a funny one right here, just real quick. Well, not funny one here, but here's one example, all right? Zetbull, long running hype, has ended its run earlier this week. And this is just before this whole uh, new Black Friday that happened yesterday. This already happened a few days ago. Uh, I, When there was a lot of talk about it, especially in the more recent months, even though this has been going on since 2019, I just didn't really go for it. Yeah, it sounds good and what you get out of it. And maybe when I jumped in when they first talked about it just a few months ago when a lot of people started jumping in on it, I was like, I could have made maybe a little bit of money out of this. But I was like, it, it just wasn't something I really cared for. So I said, nah, I'm going to pass on this. So that's one of them, right? That I took a pass on. Here's another one that a lot of people exited this week right here. This garbage right here, Money Tree. All right, this uh, bullshit contract, quite a few people exited these contracts this past week. Just saying, uh, when you look at the amount of new people that went to these 30-day contracts, just saying, that's all I got to say. So that's another one. Uh, let's see, what else here? Uh, let me see here. Geniex doing good. I mean, let's look at some of the things that's gone on this past week. All right, some crazy stuff here. Get out of that thing. Here we go. Look at this. This is since last Black Friday to to this to this Black Friday. Look at this Dogecoin knockoff, massive rug pull, right? So this rug pull. Uh, let's see here. Ten million dollars. All right. So that's that's big, but there's something even bigger. Oh, here's something else. Uh, this was an exploitation of another thing here of this uh, Genosis Safe Multisig. Uh, that's another one here, exploitation. And then it gets bigger, right? Look at this one. D5 Protocol Badger DAO. Exploit for $120 million. That's pretty crazy. All right. And one user had 900 Bitcoin worth a sto token stolen in a single transaction. Another lost 5 million. Um, 
let's see, worth of tokens in one go. So you got two people collectively lost $55 million. Isn't that crazy when you think about that? So, yeah, so that's another one for you. Uh, let's see what else here. What else is, can I mention real quickly? Um, man, I feel like there's something else. Oh, uh, other stuff that I took a pass on. Let me see if I can find those platforms here. Is it here? Uh, or is it here? All right, over here. Here we go. Here we go. So, this one says forbidden, but uh, because I got to turn on VPN. But this one is about, um, let me just scroll this up. Uh, a platform that just exited today called uh, Up, Upistic, right? Uh, Upistic, I got hit up about this, man, I want to say a couple months ago. But I looked at it and I was just like, ah, I don't know. I just didn't really care for it, right? So I... Um, Looked at it. This was just a couple of days ago where they updated new plans and all that. And I don't know. It's just when I got hit about this a couple months ago, I was just like, uh, I don't know. It just didn't pull me in. And so I didn't care for it. Um, let me see if I could turn on the VPN so I can show you guys the site. All right. I guess never mind. The site just didn't come back on. So, uh, yeah. So Upistic was one I took a pass on. I was just like, I don't know. I, I didn't care for it. Um, I talked about a couple others I took a pass on when I saw it and people were asking me about it called Bastion Invest. I didn't care for that one either. I talked about that earlier in the week. Um, I feel like there was like another one that I took a pass on as well. But yeah, those are a couple of notable ones. Zetbull, I took a pass. Apistic, didn't care for it. Um, yeah, just, there's just so much out there, you know, and it was just like, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it right now. Uh, the only other notable one I just mentioned was uh, LTC Elite. All right. And I'll do, I'll talk about that in another video since I just barely talked about that yesterday. So when you look at it, I've been sticking to these other two this whole time. Let me just close that. I close a bunch of shit down right here. Like all these different sites I have up right now. I'm just trying to close it. But yeah, so uh, Genie X, still doing well. Let's see how many days it's been now. 37 days. Yeah, this is looking really good. Look at this. 1.4 million in, 196,000 out. Very good spread there. Uh, and again, 37 days, still going strong. It hit the 33-day mark, uh, which is that. And then... Uh, Many people went in for a second cycle. Look at their token price, $12.72. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. Here. That's two times now that I've seen where when one of these sort of platforms offer tokens like this in their hype, they tend to be upwards of 10 plus dollars per token. And so uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Maybe the next time I might try my luck in that, throw, throw a little bit in this too. Maybe do like a 500 deposit. And then like 500 into the token when they first uh, come out. Because usually they start out like at a dollar each. And I mean that 500, right, could be 500 tokens. Now imagine right now if I bought $500 worth of tokens and now it's at 12.72 because I held on this whole time. Let's see what that would come out to. $6,300. That would have been really nice. And then you could just sell it on PancakeSwap. Wow. So that could have been something. Um, but that's something to keep in mind because Zionis had the same similar result. They were upwards of 10 plus dollars a token. Could have bought them easily at a dollar uh, per token when they launched their token. And so, I don't know. Just, just a strategy to keep in mind for the future when it comes to uh, these hypes, right? So, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, here's another one. Perfect Money took an exit this week. Not the company, but they exited uh, all hypes, all right, this past week. Um, and and just, just the whole space itself in crypto. So they're no longer going to be messing around with uh, platforms and all that, hypes, all that and more. And uh, it says it's not, this is more... 
Perfect Money is more suited for outside of the United States. I used it uh, with a VPN just because uh, all the hypes I was in, I was getting all this Perfect Money and I, I couldn't even get it out. So I was like, shit. So I got Perfect Money. And so now <laughs> their association to hypes and platforms is done. So that's just something I wanted to mention there as well. So the first up on deck, let's see here, Tron. I don't know if there's that's enough to pull out, so I'm gonna try that. All right, so that's that went through. That's not. I don't even think perfect money's gonna come through, but let me try it. Dollar <laughs> ninety-eight. Oh, I need two dollars. Wow. Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's see here. Doge. I don't know if I have enough Doge, but try that out. All right, that went through. Bitcoin. Eight one eight eight. Do that there. All right, so that went through. Do I have enough LTC, man? I'm just cleaning the house. Hopefully, I do because uh, I could just clean this all out. Ooh, that went through too. Nice. So it's all the USD stuff that I can't get out. And uh, I don't know, I've just been lazy about moving this uh, Genie X tokens. And then uh, I actually bought a couple of these back early on. And i uh, just been lazy to move this over to PancakeSwap and selling it. But I'll see if I can do that. And so that's that with uh, Genie X. Still doing good. Still going strong as far as I know, despite the downtrend in the market. And here's Lily Finance. Uh, this has been going on eight days, 66,000 in, 9,300 out. So pretty nice uh, spread. As we all been seeing, the closer they are, the the bad it gets, right? So the the bigger the spread, the better. So with that, this has been going pretty nicely uh, for being at eight days and still going uh, strong so far. I put a bigger deposit than usual, it's at 755. And here's a balance to take out, oops. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, all right, let me log back in. Back in, and now I can withdraw. So 33, 25, Tron's only 40 cents, so I can't really touch that one. So 33, 25, there we go, boom. And boom. So it says save because they do manual withdrawals. I know because people are used to seeing that <laughs> and associating bad things with that. But so far, so good from what I've been seeing. $33 will knock, will bring this up to 193 taken out. So there's still a ways to go with this uh, for me to break even and more. But when we look at it, 2.2% daily for 20 days. Oh, I forgot. It's the principal return. So it's all just pure profit until the principal is returned in uh, 20 days there. So I got another 12 days. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's the, that. So these two are the ones I'm in right now that I actively been in. And they're still going. I noted all those other ones uh, that have exited. Uh, perfect money exited. People exited money tree uh what else is there and just all the notable news that's hit the market as to why the market's been down these uh black fridays that's been happening here so we'll see if things turn around but i just wanted to share this with you guys all the stuff that's going on. oh yeah and if i i guess for shits and giggles i did a video earlier today about uh, Impulse X, ERK, My Passage Rates, Polaris Group, uh, <laughs> Nobel, all right, exited ERK because he's going to put a fork in it, all right, and uh, oh, shit, same could be said about Darren, you know, throwing, just throwing uh, fuel into the fire, it's a bunch of bullshit going on with that company as well. Uh, might as well throw this out there for shits and giggles. Watch that video, all right? Because those two could probably be scheming behind the scenes and just screwing everybody out of their ERK and all that with real crypto they're taking. So 
Comment down below, links down below, and I'll see you next one.